A new fight is brewing over Victoria's major projects with leaked documents revealing some eye-watering executive salaries. The Andrews government is defending the costs, but the opposition says fat cat wages are an insult to taxpayers. I didn't think it was appropriate. Please explain. They're the mega projects that come with boards of executives on mega salaries. Australians would be really shocked to know how much of their money is going to private consultants and contractors. A leaked pay report has revealed 16 out of 25 executives have been paid more than their recommended salary. Among them, the chief executive of Rail Projects Victoria, who picked up an $814,000 paycheck, which works out to just over $15,000 per week. The state government says it has to pay more to get the right people. Other states across the country are also doing big infrastructure Structure build, private investment, uh, private jobs are also being built out there. We've got to be able to compete. The now former executive general manager of the suburban rail loop took home $680,000. Over the life of the project, that position would cost the taxpayer $8.8 .8 million. But it's just an example of how the government spends our money. While the chief executive of Major Rail Projects Victoria raked in over $700,000. You've got fat cats being paid sometimes 11 times more than the average wage. Come on, fat cat. Well, we're going to have a lovely time this week sharing all your news with lots and lots of letters. Uh, and yet, what are Victorian taxpayers getting for it? Uh, they're getting cost overruns, cost blowouts. There was also big money to be made on the North East Link, with the Chief Executive and Chief Operating Officer taking home a combined $1.2 million. Uh, a Labor government will always look for ways in which we can provide assistance to those in need. We'll do so, of course, though, in a context. Uh, the context here is we don't want to add to any inflationary pressure. The exorbitant salaries of the executives have been revealed just weeks after the Andrews government launched a plan to cut 4,000 public servants in a bid to save $2 billion. Only in this state uh, could something as absurd uh, as this occur. Shame, shame, shame. I didn't think it was appropriate. I like your dance steps, Fat Cat. Could you please do a dance for me? I did a little dance. Mm. 